Right, just give you a quick look around. Guided tour around the workshop. The old Rayburn that uh, is very often mentioned. All these tools I've collected over the years uh, belong to uh, other craftsmen who have long since gone, unfortunately. But their, their legacy is, is well worth it. Um, you can't find a lot of these tools now. But uh, this is where it all happens on this table. And here is my uh, little logo that everybody looks and laughs at. <laughs> Has its uses. Right. Okay, let's get to work. stabilize them and eventually if you look closely there you'll be able to see all the gilding where all the gilding's worn off. Now what we're trying to do is not re-gild them and restore them to what they were when they were new but a sympathetic gilding so that it looks very similar to this. These panels will look like this but with certain amount of air try and keep it in, in, in character as much as possible. I'll uh, just cut that and then start to take it out, otherwise it'll be so long-winded. Yeah, right, we've got this so far now. We managed to get it out in one piece, so it's got to be lifted out. Taken up the back here and lay down flat. And we'll do that on the floor. Okay, well, let's see, what would you like, Leonard, today as your bonus question? So that the frame now can be cleaned. Um, ready to take um, the new backing, which then the, the leather panels are going to attach to. So we'll take it from there. What we're going to have to do here is, along the frame edge here, is all the nails that have been left from years ago when it was made, that have pulled through the leather. So what we have to do is get these out for us. Take all the old remnants of glue and anything else that is uh, on the frame so we can make a stable base to get it back together again. What we've got to do now, all the nails have been removed, we've got to try and get in here and then remove all the old glue residues and lift, make a stable business for the old, there you go, the old glues that we used were all animal hoof and horn glues and they go very brittle, um, so that, all that has got to come off, be scraped off, uh, leveled out so that the new backing for the leather panels can sit in this recess perfectly without any tension whatsoever. So what we have to do now is a little bit of work and if we on the, we just take the edges off on the frame here to do some sympathetic restoring, get rid of all the edges with a bit of wire wool, then we'll be able to give the whole frame a coat of wax. We don't want to make it look like new, or I don't want to make it look like new, the whole thing is to try and make it look well looked after, preserve it for the future without detracting from its age. 